tornado. Yeah. Could create a tornado because we're in that kind of environment. So it might be wise if you do get under either a tornado warning or severe thunderstorm warning, almost treat it like it is a tornado warning. You might as just well. Just to be safe, exactly. right? Right? It doesn't hurt. Yes. And we've got a severe thunderstorm warning now south of Washington, D.C., which we do, uh, we do now have a newly issued tornado watch that does include much of D.C. and now Maryland and the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, and this is going to go until midnight tonight. So uh, we're going to be dealing with severe weather oh, all yeah. day long. And Jess, if you can back up on this uh, sort of view just real quick, just to show you some storms that may not be severe yet, but I'm watching them and the incoming storms for possibility of a lot more severe weather in parts of central North Carolina and western Virginia because the atmosphere in this part of the country, in this part of the Mid Atlantic, mm -hmm. is getting ready for some big time severe weather. Yeah, and that includes many cities like Roanoke, Lynchburg. We got a new severe thunderstorm morning with those storms that really just fired up and it's there's that at area. greatest risk. So Charlotte right on into Winston-Salem, Greensboro here through central Virginia that may even extend a little further north up towards D.C. Yes, it's going to be a busy day uh, just because severe weather, for example, in areas in northern Virginia or Maryland is not in progress. It may indeed be later today. So Torcons remain at a three here for much of North Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina and then a four, the highest risk here for parts of the Midlands of South Carolina through the Piedmont of North Carolina and much of Virginia and a three there, including Chesapeake Bay and the parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Those are significant numbers, and it's not just, of course, the tornado risk because we also have uh, those thunderstorms capable of carrying strong damaging winds with them throughout the afternoon. Wind gusts of over 75 miles per hour are possible with some of the strongest storms. All right, Julie, and again, if a lot of people traveling, so if they're caught on the roads in a damaging situation, mm -hmm. they're urged not to go under these overpasses. Right. Yeah, it's a very busy travel day, of course, Easter Sunday coming up, and uh, there are certain places you definitely want to avoid if you're out there on the open highway. Stephanie Abrams explains. Have you heard the myth of hiding under an overpass if you're threatened by a tornado while driving on the road? Well, according to Noah, a vehicle is a very risky place to be if a twister is threatening you. Sometimes people find they have little time and very few options. You might remember this video from 1991. Hang on to the curtain. Several people seeking shelter from an approaching tornado. All of this is sturdy concrete. It might seem like a really good idea, right? But most tornado deaths and injuries occur from flying debris. That debris basically becomes missiles. The higher you climb, the faster the winds are going to get. And also, as you get that passage to narrow, that can also increase the wind speeds. So the reality is, seeking shelter under an overpass offers you no protection from a tornado. Lots faster, lots faster. Your safest bet if you can't seek shelter indoors and you're threatened by a tornado is to pull over, park, leave your seatbelt on, and then duck below the window and cover your head. Wait, no, no, no. Or if you can find a ditch that is noticeably lower than the roadway and away from your vehicle, you want to lay down in that ditch and cover your head. Listen to weather warnings, have a plan, and you will greatly increase your chances of survival during severe storms. All right, some good advice there from Stephanie. Of course, if you are out and traveling, just be sure you have a way to monitor the weather and way to get those warnings if you're out there traveling on this Good Friday. We still have a very long way to go in terms of the severe weather threat. We are tracking that for you here on the Weather Channel. Of course, our tornado watches extend all the way up into the mid-Atlantic now, and we are looking at uh, major travel delays as well. More information coming up on the other side of the break. Mm. Exactly. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Nice. But, um, what's up with your partner? Not again. Mimo, that's your reflection. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. In an era of online retail where everything is just a few clicks away, buying a car should be no different. That's why at Carvana, you can buy a car 100% online. We made it easy to browse, view, and buy from over 10,000 cars. You can even trade in your old car, all while binge watching your favorite TV show. Afterwards, we'll deliver your car to you, or you can pick it up from one of our car vending machines. Either way, your car comes with a seven day return policy. So grab a seat, relax in your comfy pants, and enjoy the new way to buy a car at Carvana. 
I knew I put on a few extra pounds. I was really hard on myself. I was just tired of feeling like that. It was hard for me to shed the weight until Jenny Craig. From a top diet nine years straight comes rapid results by Jenny Craig. Lose up to 16 pounds in your first four weeks with our most effective program. I didn't think that it would happen so fast, but here I am. <laughs> Come in for free and connect with your dedicated weight loss expert. The consultant makes all the difference. That's what made it easy. With rapid results, the secret is what you eat and when. With delicious, chef-crafted food. Call now and get five days of free food and free shipping. I love the food. The food is delicious. This is going to help me lose weight. Are you serious? I just ate a chocolate cake. The consultants are amazing. The food is delicious. The program is the best. I mean, what do you really have to lose? For a limited time, lose 20 pounds for $20 and get five days of free food. Purchase required. Hurry, call now. If a dirty CPAP is making you sick, you're not alone. I was getting sinus infections because I wasn't cleaning my CPAP properly. And that continued until I got my so clean. So Clean is the world's first automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria that can build up in your mask, hose, and reservoir. I don't have to push a button or anything. I just put the mask in the chamber, close the lid, and it runs automatically. So Clean has, has been a lifesaver. So Clean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks. Try it risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-431-7103 to take advantage of this limited time offer. I would recommend the SoClean machine to anyone else. It is that good of a machine that has made that big a difference in my life. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-431-7103 or go to SoClean.com. Straight from the world's best plant scientists comes miracle Grow Performance Organics. Organic plant food and soil that finally work for twice the bounty, guaranteed. miracle Grow Performance Organics. Okay, I'll, I'll just... Severe weather continues here on the Weather Channel as we are taking a look live now at Gainesville, Florida. As the clouds roll into this area here, we are seeing abundant thunderstorms across the Florida Peninsula right now, headed through the I-95 corridor and toward it, all the way back down toward Orlando and Tampa. We'll see these thunderstorms at, with warnings all along the line of thunderstorms for the possibility of damaging winds. We're also seeing the possibility of tornadoes even farther toward the north, up into portions of uh, South Carolina. We'll continue to keep an eye on this because already Already, we have had reports of trees down, uh, numerous trees down, and power outages galore. There's Augusta, Georgia, as we see the soggy roadways here and the uh, skies just pouring here on the Augusta area. This is an area that has uh, seen strong thunderstorms push through. Still, some tornado warnings now just off toward the east of the Augusta area here. Dr. Postel with me here, and we are watching this together here as this mm -hmm. line of thunderstorms really has not let up for the last several hours. Yeah, we'll take you through the afternoon. We'll be covering this all day long, and we do have severe weather in progress really all across Florida. You were mentioning Georgia, and we got a couple of tornado warnings as well in a region that for much of the afternoon and evening will be supportive of tornadoes. Hence, the tornado watches out for all of the region here shaded in red where the possibility of tornadoes is a real problem today. The Tampa Bay area being hard hit right now. We've got Hernando, Hillsborough, Pasco, Pinellas counties that are under warnings here for severe weather. Gusty winds going to be the primary threat of this as these thunderstorms are moving in now around Clearwater Beach and Tampa beginning to uh, feel the brunt of it off toward the west. It won't be long before it moves right into the city. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Nick, because on the northern part of this line all morning long, we've seen wind gusts uh, for parts of the line that have moved inland wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour and lots of downed trees. I think that's going to be one of the biggest threats as this line of storms moves across central and northeast Florida. The continuation of the fallen trees, that's a real problem that could do damage to uh, homes. It could do damage to automobiles and actually threaten your life if a tree falls. Unfortunately, we're having to fall on you. Absolutely. You want to be in a site, a sturdy building when these thunderstorms come through. Right. Uh, and uh, in all of these areas here, as we see the entire line here, really, between Tampa and Jacksonville, under these warnings here, Clay, Duval, 
Nassau, St. John's counties, under warnings here around the Jacksonville area. Boy, it's just moving through the city right now. Uh, no doubt there's going to be some, uh, some more trees coming down with this line of storms. Yeah, fortunately for parts of uh, southern or southeastern uh, Georgia, the worst of the weather has moved offshore. Mm -hmm. You can see that bow echo now is over the Atlantic Ocean. But right farther to the north, we're seeing some severe weather, including some tornado warnings just to the north of Tampa and northwest of Hilton Head Island, also areas in southern South Carolina. This leading edge of the line uh, is carrying with it not only that strong straight line wind threat, but also the possibility of some brief spin-ups along its edge that are very difficult to see. They're moving really quickly, and if you get one of these warnings, take shelter immediately because they're moving at 50 to 60 miles per hour, and it will take very little time for the storm to be on top of you. Yeah, and the radar are really showing that the, uh, the, the rotation is a little hard to pick up in some of these areas here, uh, and really, as you have mentioned before, doesn't last very long here. Some of these spin-ups could be very quick. It is. And it's one of the nightmares that weather service personnel have when they're tracking these storms and trying to issue these tornado warnings because when they identify it first on the radar and prepare that warning and then disseminate it, issue it, it's almost as if the tornado warning or the tornado rotation is gone in just those few short minutes between identifying it on radar and sending out the warning. So these are very transient circulations, in some cases lasting just a couple of minutes. And it doesn't mean that you should, say, ignore the warning. Correct. Say, oh, well, you know, it may, maybe it's just going to be a quick spin up and it'll be all gone. Actually, you should do just the opposite. Probably uh, take this even more seriously, yeah. knowing that tornadoes, even though they might not show up on a radar from one scan to another, that they could show up again very quickly, uh, even without mm -hmm. getting a, a, a second warning here. That's a good point. And another sort of tip maybe for the day, certainly across parts of South Carolina and uh, parts of Georgia still and even Florida that are seeing this line of thunderstorms move through, even if there is not a tor warn tornado warning, pretend that there is one yeah. because this is a type of line and the type of atmosphere that uh, can spin up those tornadoes very, very quickly. And while there may not be a tornado warning associated with the storm coming near you now, there may be one in a few minutes. We've got a, a small severe thunderstorm warning here just toward the south of the Washington, D.C. area. As thunderstorms continue to move up toward the nation's capital, we very well in just the next several minutes, could see some of those strong storms move into the city there. Yeah, and there's a part of this chart that I find kind of uh, unnerving a little bit. When I look at this radar, and it's actually the part of the uh, radar chart that's back in here across western North Carolina and parts of western Virginia and areas uh, that are not seeing a lot of rain. That's because... The sun is breaking through the clouds. Oh boy. They're getting more daytime heating, and we're seeing more and more instability in that region. So as the atmosphere sort of grows more and more supportive of severe weather, here comes thunderstorms moving in that could be uh, potentially dangerous. And it's almost as if there are, are two lines of storms moving through with that uh, sunshine in between. Yes. And so, so you, you, you know, it's a kind of a little false sense of security, perhaps, mm -hmm. because you've got the next line that's going to be moving in a very unstable atmosphere. So we just saw a severe thunderstorm warning for a cluster of storms moving northward that is already now under an area that has been uh, deemed supportive of tornadic thunderstorms. Until midnight tonight, this tornado watch does include Baltimore, Washington, uh, Richmond, and areas nearby in northern Virginia. Here's the forecast now, and the likely impacts that we could see are damaging winds, large hail, possible tornadoes. Notice the very likely area. Mm -hmm. It includes areas all the way from Georgia up into South Carolina, North Carolina, and southern portions of Virginia. Yes, and now we uh, have a package now to uh, send to, which uh, talks about the... Um Kelly O'Hara actually is going to talk about She talked to uh, a, a group of, of, of uh, sporting, yeah, softball people in yeah. Georgia today. Let's uh, get a look at uh, what they dealt with. Indeed. Kaylin and Aubrey, what are you guys thinking when you, when the, about this weather? Um, you kind of just got to tough it break, out. Joey, Softball's kind yummy, of a funky sport. Fields drain well in the SEC, so you could have a day of full rain and come 6 o'clock, you know, they pull the tarp and they, you know, they say play ball. So yeah. you never really know. You've got to stay aware all day. Play ball? I mean, it is coming down right now. <laughs> uh, we've seen worse, I yeah, think. Yeah, we have. <laughs> yeah, the, they keep a tarp on the infield, so um, it stays pretty dry. And then if the rain lets up, they'll just pull that up, off. I mean, if you're an outfielder, I play center field. Um, you just got to be more aware that the ball is going to be wet when it comes to outfield. You got to grip it harder. Uh, throw it lower, you know, things like that. Were you guys concerned? Was your team concerned at all about the severe weather that was coming through? Um, a few of us woke up to the tornado <laughs> siren. That was um, pretty interesting and shocking, but um, 
you know, you just gotta power through it. We don't have much of a choice, you know, we're down here in Athens for the weekend, so, um, you know, severe weather it is. <laughs> Did the tornado sirens wake you guys up? I mean, have you heard something like that no, before? I slept right through it. <laughs> I definitely woke up. Uh, Ashley's my roommate, so we uh, woke up to it, checked the weather channel, and, you know, heard the warnings and everything. Um, no one told us to leave, so we <laughs> ended up going back to bed. And Ashley, as the team's pitcher, and you're just a freshman, and I know there are other, I'm sure there are other pitchers as well, but as a pitcher, is there is it tough to play in this type of weather or even when this type of weather has been raining all day? Um, yeah, it is difficult to like grip the ball and spin the ball uh, properly, but you just got to, something you just got to work through. I grew up playing in the south. Um, I'm from Tennessee as well, so I'm just, something I've been used to and grown up grown up with but you kind of got to practice it and just get used to it and not let it get to your head so I mean, we're hearing the thunder right now and I guess you said you guys don't know yet if you will play or not because it all depends on how wet the field is yeah we'll just keep up with our regular schedule like planned and then um, we'll know about game time when we're going over there it might be delayed it might not I, we don't know okay and what do you want folks at know uh, home to know like about your team do you guys say go volunteers what, what do you guys say Yay. yeah go vol go vol go vol <laughs> well, thank you ladies I really appreciate your time Time. You know, good luck today. I hope you play your game. But big question, of course, for the uh, University of Tennessee softball team is will they play the game today with all this wet weather? Well, to be determined. For now, back to you. That's Kelly O'Hara there uh, talking to some softball players oh, earlier yeah. today in Georgia, not knowing whether they're going to get their game in or not because of the soggy ground. And uh, as storms rumble through overnight and this morning through the Georgia area, mm -hmm. that ground is going to remain soggy for a while. Uh, look at this uh, collection of flash flood warnings yeah. for uh, parts of Georgia um, that are behind the main area of rain. But we've got very soggy ground and some spotty rain moving through and even a new line of uh, not severe thunderstorms but a new line of thunderstorms so flooding is going to be an issue mm -hmm. today uh, regardless of the kind of severe weather that you got especially in Georgia and I think eventually in the Carolinas as well but we also have a lot of severe weather in Florida that goes all the way down to the Tampa St. Pete area it's, it's just amazing and really all, all along this tornado watch area yeah. we're seeing basically warnings either of tornado warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings this watch goes until this afternoon yes. at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it covers areas all the way from Tampa up through Jacksonville Savannah Charleston and northward yeah. Yeah, and on northward, but let's now look at the Tampa area because we have this line of thunderstorms that has a history of producing 50 to 60 mile per hour winds, damage to trees, down power lines, that kind of thing is associated with this line, and of course, if that weren't enough, Nick, a lot of cloud to ground lightning, individual uh, strikes shown here on the radar. Yeah, but all the more reason to get inside a sturdy building, get away from this. When thunder roars go indoors, there's no place safe outside in any kind of thunderstorm, much less one that could be packing winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour. All kinds of airport delays we expect across Florida and areas up and down the East Coast with this nasty weather moving through. It's only very slowly moving right now, which mm -hmm. is why we're going to continue with the severe weather threat. As we saw earlier, the tornado to watch uh, much farther to the north in Virginia and Maryland goes until midnight. But yeah, let's have a look at the cameras in and around the Tampa Bay area because as this bad weather is moving in, you can get a sense kind of of what it looks like and what it's going to be like. Yeah, the skies, we've been watching them darken and, uh, and we're continuing to see the threat of those storms moving ever closer. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, the, they, they certainly are. There's the picture there. Uh, there's a live look at yeah, Tampa. that's a live look. Uh, that kind of tells the story. Uh, this is what you're seeing if, if you look outside right now with those clouds just thickening and darkening. Man, it, it is dark outside here. Yeah, you know, uh, earlier today, Chris Brune and I were looking at a, a tower cam out of Gainesville, which had this line pass through them. And uh, it got very windy. The, the weather station, the weather stem site, a measured wind gusts of 59 miles per hour. And uh, the camera was shaking. And it was quite a, quite a picture. Uh, I imagine that there'll be that scene repeated in many locations, mm -hmm. like here in Tampa, in a, probably in the order inside the next uh, half an hour. Here's Gainesville, where the weather has much improved, I have to admit. Uh, I know it looks bad, mm -hmm. but the severe weather in Gainesville is over. The worst of it is moved to the east. It is still raining. There's still that potentially some flood risk. Cloud ground lightning here and there, but the strongest winds and the worst of all the weather uh, has moved off to the east. Almost an inch of rain here around the Gainesville, Florida area, 0.9 inches there at the airport. And so, uh, so obviously there's still going to be a lot of water left over. The ground is soaked. And unfortunately, too, we have power outages around much of Florida. As many as, as almost 100,000 customers without power now in the state. 
Yeah, these severe thunderstorm warnings keep rolling in and there's going to be more. I can guarantee you that. I imagine all across, maybe even Volusia County, we'll see Brevard County eventually into the uh, tornado, or excuse me, the severe thunderstorm warnings. Right now there aren't, but uh, farther down the coast, there Daytona Beach will get, I think, those uh, severe thunderstorm warnings issued for you. Uh, and farther to the north in South Carolina. How about this? This is a part of that line that starts to have uh, me concerned a little bit in for the tornado risk because it's kind of breaking up into little segments. Yes, and whenever you get those little segments, those can become supercell uh, thunderstorms that can very well produce tornadoes. It, it looks like a small area, but uh, you know it's, it's big enough that you need to be inside the lowest level of your home, away from windows here in Jasper County, in, uh, in just, just right across the border here from Georgia into South Carolina. Jess, can we zoom in? Wonderful weather producer Jess Arnoldy, can you go back to those storms here? Uh, and is there a way to zoom in on some of these? Because there's parts of this line that are bowing, meaning that there are sort of bulges to yeah, it. Yeah. And when you see that, that tells you a couple of things. One, there are likely some very strong winds on the leading edge or the apex of that bow. Two, on the edges of the bow, sometimes you can get spin-ups, like I believe this tornado warning has been issued for the edge of the bow. As it moved through, uh, on one side of it, you can get circulations developing, and we may indeed be seeing some of the aspects of that. Yeah, it looks like the, the line has actually kind of uh, outrun the tornado warned area yes, here now. That's a good as, point. As it heads uh, over Interstate 95. That's an that's excellent point because that tells you how fast these storms are moving. We're seeing storm motions today all across the region of 40 to 50, even 60 miles per hour in some cases. So very fast movers. Got some strong thunderstorms that are bearing down upon Columbia, South Carolina right now, also under a tornado watch mm -hmm. uh, until 5 p.m. This watch goes up through Charlotte, Raleigh, Roanoke, up into the Washington, D.C. area. In Washington, D.C., you're under that watch yeah. until midnight. Can we go and have a look at some of these warnings across northern Virginia because this is sort of a sort of this initial lead disturbance that we've been tracking all morning long uh, that has with it the capability of producing severe weather and it's actually doing so as we speak uh, just north of Petersburg looks like Richmond is now included in a severe thunderstorm warning for largely the threat of strong straight line winds of up to 60 miles per hour so Richmond if you live in Chesterfield Hanover Henrico and King William counties Take shelter now. You might as well. This severe thunderstorm has a lot of strong wind potential with it and maybe, maybe even the possibility of a tornado or two. Yeah, we're going to be seeing uh, more of that here. We've got the, the storm moving into the Richmond area right now and uh, and more. Let's go farther to the north if we can, Jess. Too. Yeah, let's bring that camera farther to the north. That's Richmond, but right now closing in, I think, on the D.C. area right there close to it yeah just to the northwest of Fredericksburg Virginia we have some more severe weather moving in again largely warned for strong straight line winds yeah there's been this is actually a, another warning on that storm that is moving toward DC so it's holding up its strength holding up its potential for bringing those damaging winds into the nation's capital yeah and the tornado watches out and that goes until midnight tonight so you can tell we're gonna be dealing with severe weather all evening long stay tuned we'll have it all for you right keep it tuned right here to the weather channel as we monitor these severe storms all the way from Florida up through the mid-Atlantic and we got no free pass everything we have we've earned the unmistakable Lexus IS lease the 2019 IS 300 for 329 a month for 36 months experience amazing at your Lexus dealer restaurant impossible is back you do miracles for other businesses and I need your help we're not only changing restaurants, we're changing lives. Amazing. All new, Restaurant Impossible, Saturday night at 9, only on Food Network and the Food Network app. I'm Andy, and I lost 30 pounds on Nutrisystem. Listen up, guys. Want to shed a few pounds? Got a beer belly going on? Can't fit into your pants? Then you need Nutrisystem for men. I'm Essex, and I lost 43 pounds on Nutrisystem. I'm Trevor, and I lost 60 pounds on Nutrisystem. Lose weight fast with Nutrisystem for men. You could lose weight, too. Real guys, real results. My name's Ron, and I lost 80 pounds on Nutrisystem. Put down the pie, pick up the phone, and get with the program today. Lose up to 18 pounds in 8 inches overall in your first month. Try Nutrisystem for men. Money back guarantee. The food was delicious. If you're like me and you like to eat, this is what you get to do. This is perfect for men. Especially guys that don't want to cook. So get off the couch and order Nutrisystem for men and save 50% on every program. Plus get one week of all new Fresh Start shakes free. It's not that hard. You eat the food, you lose the weight. Go online or call 877-949-FIT6 and save 50% plus get fat burning shakes free. 
Exploring the heart of historic Europe with Viking, you'll get closer to iconic landmarks, to local life and legendary treasures, as you sail on board our patented, award-winning Viking longships. You'll enjoy many extras, including Wi-Fi, cultural enrichment from ship to shore, and engaging excursions. Viking, voted number one river cruise line by Condé Nast Breeders. Learn more at vikingrivercruises.com. Purple, oh purple, I must get away. A beach house, a cabin, a great place to stay. Verbal, oh verbal, please search through your list and find us a place today. This one had a deck and we grilled up some beef. A dog friendly place would be unreal. We'll book it right now, it feels like our own. Our perfect vacation home. Find exclusive vacation homes that match you with Verbo. <gasps> Introducing the all-new speed wash system from Generac, the ultra-fast way to pressure wash. The speed wash features best-in-class 3200 PSI cleaning power and puts pressure control right at your fingertips. Dial it up to blast away the toughest stains. Dial it down for a more delicate wash. The speed wash system includes three cutting-edge cleaning tools. The power broom cleans decks and driveways up to four times faster. The turbo nozzle blasts away grime in half the time. And a soap blaster soaps it up faster. And right now, for a limited time, you can have all three of these game-changing tools for free. To get the complete Generac Speed Wash system, call 1-800-795-5317. Free shipping is now in effect, and right now, for a limited time, you can get all three cleaning tools for free. Speed Wash models start at just $379. Order online at GeneracSpeedWash.com. Join Liana Brackett. And here we go. And Paul Goodluck. <laughs> if you like that, I got more on the way. And Dr. Greg Postel. Weekend mornings starting at 9 on Weekend Recharge. Welcome back as we continue our coverage here of severe storms moving through Florida, up through the Mid-Atlantic. You're looking live now at Tampa, Florida as the skies continue to darken and those thunderstorms move towards you. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of uh, storms that we've seen uh, move through parts of North Florida earlier today near Gainesville. We've had 50 to 60 mile per hour winds being reported. I imagine there's still that kind of wind mm -hmm. with this part of the line moving through the Tampa St. Pete area right now. Uh, this is bad weather, no doubt about that. And this kind of wind can knock down trees and cause all kinds of problems, even if there is not a tornado warning associated with it. And the good news is no severe thunderstorm warning in Tampa right now, but there are plenty off towards your north and east. Columbia, South Carolina, this is an area that we're watching very closely. There are some strong thunderstorms moving into the area right now. And you can see, obviously, we've got dark skies. We've got plentiful rain falling with these thunderstorms. And of course, we have the chance of damaging winds moving in as well. Yeah, to me, when I see this camera, we'll get to the radar eventually in, uh, in Columbia, but I have a feeling that the worst of some bad weather has already moved through. This okay. looks like a post-storm environment uh, with some rain on the camera. Uh, but still, a severe weather is possible all the way from Florida to look at this map that we've got here. Tornado watches go from central Florida, 900 miles wow. to the north, all the way up to the, uh, looks like basically the Pennsylvania, Maryland border. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Mm. And these thunderstorms are kind of oriented in, in that uh, way, too. We're, we're seeing them continue to push in uh, to the Washington, D.C. area right now under a watch until midnight tonight. This is the newest watch that, Un that we have. Until midnight, which essentially covers, well, almost all of the rest of Virginia, and that does include the Norfolk area. So we are going to likely be dealing with severe weather, not only just the kind that produce damaging straight-line winds and maybe some hail, but also some tornadic activity as well, even in this part of the mid-Atlantic states. Yeah, there's some strong thunderstorms moving into, uh, or at least south of D.C. right now, moving up very close to the nation's capital here over the next uh, half an hour or so. Yeah, and we've seen a lot of severe weather. We've also seen reports of some significant tornado damage in southwestern Virginia, north of Martinsville earlier. Chris mm -hmm. Brewer and I were covering a storm that was a tornadic producing supercell that uh, did some significant damage, and there's some quite spectacular uh, imagery showing up on uh, social media with that one.
Well, Tampa is now under a severe thunderstorm warning again as these thunderstorms move through the Clearwater Beach area. Hernando, Hillsborough, Pasco, Pinellas counties under these warnings here. Clearwater, Largo, St. Pete, and So that's Tampa. a new warning. Yeah, this is a brand new warning. Okay, so this Tampa. one just popped up. Okay, so they took Tampa out of it or yeah. parts of it. Now they put it back in mm -hmm. it. Uh, so here comes the bad weather off the Gulf of Mexico. Again, expect 50 to 60 mile per hour winds uh, and down trees. There's going to be some damage associated with that. That's why they've closed the Skyway Bridge there around the Tampa St. Pete area in anticipation of those kinds of winds, uh, which uh, the bridge does not do well in the winds like that. These storms are going to make it to the Florida East Coast. I mean, I have no doubt about that. Exactly what shape they're in when they get there. Will they be triggering severe thunderstorm warnings? Probably. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of what we've seen. These storms have had significant longevity, uh, durability to them that they're going to make it to the coast. And look at this nasty line of storms almost moving northeastward across South Carolina. See those individual kinks in it? These little yeah. bows? That's where locally damaging winds are a real threat. Uh, they are anywhere in this line, but especially right on the nose of those little sort of bulges, those, uh, uh, what do they call outflow surges, essentially, where you can get 60 mile per hour winds and damaging winds. Walterboro, it's coming your way. I believe that's the area that was under the tornado warning here until just recently. Now it's a severe thunderstorm warning. It doesn't really mean that the threat is, uh, is, is any less, though, for damaging winds. I mean, you can have the kinds of winds mm -hmm. that can cause widespread damage to trees, even to roofs of homes with this. Oh, indeed. And uh, moving out of, it looks like, Georgia into South Carolina, a whole lot of storms, a couple of lines, one narrow line right behind it. Did you see that one? A little narrow line that's probably sub-severe, not quite severe. Uh, but still, we'll be watching it. And then this is a whole lot of rain with a lot of flooding potential here. The atmosphere is also very moist at many levels. So all kinds of rain and flooding threats exist today, tonight, and into tomorrow. Now here's the newest tornado warning here just to the east of the Roanoke area. Well, can we, uh, okay. can we go back to that tornado warning? Just, just, just for a moment about? here. There you go. This is for Giles and Monroe counties here, uh, just to the west of, of, uh, of it's Roanoke. It's in West Virginia now, yeah. just to the southeast yeah. of uh, Beckley. Union uh, is the city that is in this warned area here. Rotation with this thunderstorm. This is a signal you need to be in your safe place. Get to the lower level of your home away from windows away from outside walls if you possibly can this is also a part of the country i'm very concerned about all day long for tornadic stuff in north carolina in virginia in areas nearby and if it's not tornadic we've got severe wind possible with some of the most intense storms and now let's send it over to chris bruin to talk about the damaging wind threat that accompanies severe weather chris warren excuse me whether it's a light breeze or high gusts wind is a powerful force and it can be very destructive Damaging wind can come from huge weather systems or just a single thunderstorm. Here are five things to know about damaging winds. Number one, there are many types of winds, but the most common type of damage from a severe thunderstorm is caused by straight line winds. Number two, speeds from straight line winds are higher than you think and can reach up to 100 miles per hour. That's equal to a category two hurricane. It can cause damage for miles. Number three, severe and damaging winds are often difficult to forecast because they can be produced by any type of thunderstorm, even one that is dying. Number four, damaging winds are a big deal. They account for half of all severe reports in the lower 48 states and are actually more common than damage from tornadic winds. And number five, despite sometimes lasting only a few seconds, these winds can take down trees and knock out power to thousands, leaving long-lasting impacts. People have experienced this kind of wind already. We're continuing to see the possibility of more damaging winds with these thunderstorms, as well as tornadoes. Look at the area under tornado watches. Yeah, almost a thousand miles of territory along the East Coast are under a uh, tornado watch. And some of these watches extend not just through the afternoon hours, but to the midnight hour. Yeah. And that would be the ones farther to the north in Virginia and Maryland. But right now we've got severe weather in progress in Florida and it's up and down the line. And we've got a couple of tornado warnings in Virginia. Yeah, look at this one right here. This just to the south of Richmond around the Petersburg area. Uh, cities of Hopewell and Petersburg are in this warning here. So. Uh, Go ahead. I'm sorry, Nick. No, I, I, was, I was just going to say, uh, we, we are seeing some, some uh, rotation Boom. on... 
Yeah, there it is See right that? there. There's a little hook in there, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this is the kind of storm, mm -hmm. right, that little area of rotation. It looks pretty mm -hmm. broad to me right now north of Templeton, but this is the thing that's going to be showing up really quickly from one radar scan to the next, mm -hmm. where there's going to be these hooks showing up and the uh, potential for these storms to produce tornadoes. Prince George County under the warning here until uh, 2 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And, uh, yeah, the, the rotation showing up uh, uh, fairly decently there, off to, just to the northeast uh, of the Templeton area. Yeah, stay tuned for all the latest severe weather coverage. We will be right back. Hello? Hello there. I'm enjoying this tropical When you need a taste of vacation, pick up. I don't keep track of regrets, and I don't add up the years. But what I do count on is Boost. Delicious Boost High Protein Nutritional Drink has 20 grams of protein, along with 26 essential vitamins and minerals. Boost High Protein. Be up for life. If your moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's symptoms are holding you back, and your current treatment hasn't worked well enough, it may be time for a change. Ask your doctor about Intivio, the only biologic developed and approved just for UC and Crohn's. Intivio works at the site of inflammation in the GI tract and is clinically proven to help many patients achieve both symptom relief and remission. Infusion and serious allergic reactions can happen during or after treatment. Intivio may increase risk of infection, which can be serious. PML, a rare, serious, potentially fatal brain infection caused by a virus, may be possible. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, experience frequent infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Liver problems can occur with Intivio. If your UC or Crohn's treatment isn't working for you, ask your gastroenterologist about Intivio. Intivio, relief and remission within reach. If a dirty CPAP is making you sick, you're not alone. I was getting sinus infections because I wasn't cleaning my CPAP properly. And that continued until I got my SoClean. SoClean is the world's first automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria that can build up in your mask, hose, and reservoir. I don't have to push a button or anything. I just put the mask in the chamber, close the lid, and it runs automatically. SoClean is has been a lifesaver. SoClean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks. Try it risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-431-7103 to take advantage of this limited time offer. I would recommend the SoClean machine to anyone else. It is that good of a machine. It has made that big a difference in my life. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-431-7103 or go to SoClean.com. This is Pill Pack. I take medication every day, usually around lunch, which can be a little embarrassing. Can we get a water? Did I take this? Wait, oh, well, that's a goner. <laughs> it opened in my purse. What? That's why I switched to Pill Pack. Now my medication comes pre-sorted in easy to open packets, and they deliver everything right to my door. The best part, their service is free. I only pay my co-pays. Does your pharmacy do that? Pill Pack, an Amazon company. On Travel Channel. I'm Jack Osborne. And I'm Katrina Weidman. And on our new show, we're investigating the darkest, most sinister places. Is something new with us right now? That sounded like a growl. All new series, Portals to Hell, next Friday at 10 on Travel Channel. And stream a sneak peek on the Travel Channel app. And Doug. Hmm. Exactly. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, yeah. so you only pay for what you need. Nice. But, um, what's up with your partner? Oh! We just spend all day telling everyone how we customize car insurance because no two people are alike, so... Limu gets a little confused when he sees another bird that looks exactly like him. Yeah. He'll figure it out. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Welcome back to our continuing coverage here. We've got Beaufort, South Carolina that is... Uh, very much under a tornado threat right now as a line of thunderstorms bears down upon you. Welcome back to the Weather Channel's continuing coverage of severe weather. Yeah, Nick uh, Walker, thank you very much. I'm Dr. Greg Postel. We are looking, I'm going to take a guess here, and I'm going to say we're looking to the east, at least it's some component mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the east, because look at the clouds. They're moving from right to left, and I think there's a south wind across yeah. parts of eastern South Carolina, and a south wind meaning the stuff is going from south to north. So if north is on your left, 
I'm guessing some version of east is straight ahead. And we've got these thunderstorms that are really moving at a pretty good clip from southwest to northeast into this tornado warned area that includes portions of Beaufort County and Colleton County. Let's have a look at this tornado. Whoa, Myrtle Beach, excuse me, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina oh yeah. is getting some heavy rain right now uh, and also some pretty strong wind. Obviously, we're looking offshore there. Uh, there's some stuff coming in. And check this out. We have a new tornado warning in and around the Myrtle Beach area. Let's go to the radar. Can we zoom in on this? Uh, it does include North Myrtle Beach and yeah. other areas like Carolina Shores, Little River, and Longs in uh, South Carolina and getting into North Carolina. But can we zoom in on this? A wonderful weather producer. Jessica Arnoldy, what a doing a fantastic job today. Thank goodness she is with me today, as well as Matt Reagan. But you know what? We don't have the detailed version of the radar to go with. But what we've got is a mess <laughs> of storms with some rotation in them and potentially damaging winds in some of this area in northeastern South Carolina and southern North Carolina. You mentioned that this includes portions of the North Myrtle Beach area. Most of this warned area is off toward the northeast, up toward Little River. So we've got Carolina Shores, we've got Little River Longs under this warning as well. And of course, this is in a broader area that is under a tornado watch here until uh, at least uh, midnight tonight. Like forever. It seems <laughs> like it's forever. We'll be dealing with tornado watches. They will not be expiring until well into the overnight hours. The severe weather threat continues from Florida all the way to the Pennsylvania, Maryland border. 918.5 miles worth of tornado watches. Just an amazing amount. And, and there are really warnings all along this as these discrete cells pop up here. Look at areas just south of Richmond as we have a new tornado warning. Uh, there is a lot going on in and around Richmond, Virginia, Central, the Tidewater area. We have to watch out for these storms that are spinning up very effectively because the atmosphere is just right for that. I mean, there's a lot a low level wind shear. In other words, this rotation that these thunderstorms are ingesting is allowing to have really spinning updrafts. And sometimes that rotational loft can get carried down to the ground in the form of a tornado. Now, a lot of these sort of areas of spin and these tornado warnings are radar indicated rotation of some spin aloft. We have to have confirmation in order for that to be a confirmed tornado. We don't have with some of these. These are more evidence of spin aloft, say five to 10,000 feet up. Uh, no indication that these are circulations that are reaching the ground in the form of tornadoes in progress, but treat them as they are because in the next couple of minutes, that might be the case. And there are two within that warned area too, uh, just one on top of the other here, two areas of rotation. Then Richmond itself under a severe thunderstorm warning here until uh, the top of the hour, uh, Caroline County, Hanover County, among those that are under the warnings here for damaging winds. In the mountainous areas of Western Virginia and West Virginia, we also have severe weather in progress. Mm -hmm. We've got tornado warning here from Monroe County. That's for, let's see, another about 15 minutes or so. So the entire area of even West Virginia and Western Virginia is at risk for seeing severe weather throughout the afternoon. Nick. Yeah, and uh, all, all down the line here, we've got warnings uh, just to, uh, even, even down toward areas of Augusta. Can you imagine, you know, we've been talking about, uh, it's, I guess it's a good thing the Masters was played last weekend when we finally got to play in before so. the storms came in. Yeah. But uh, there would be no play in the area today. We're mm -hmm. talking about thunderstorms moving through and very, very wet greens there. Correct, and the greatest risk going forward through this afternoon for the worst of all the severe thunderstorms, including the greatest risk for tornadoes, is not so much here, although it is possible to see some tornadic activity here, it's here mm -hmm. in central and eastern North Carolina and in Virginia and in areas nearby because the atmosphere has a long way to go to sort itself out. We're seeing the instability growing and we're seeing the necessary forcing come in to support tornadic activity. And you mentioned that, that, that that's going to go late into the evening. So we got right. several hours to go here for the possibility of tornadoes as well as the damaging winds. Look how big mm. this area is for possible 70 mile 75 mile per hour wind gusts from these storms. Correct, and, and I really do believe that if you don't get uh, the tornadic storms, severe thunderstorms without tornadoes that have damaging winds can be just as bad. Let's leave you with a live look out of Jacksonville. Jack's Beach here looking offshore, bad weather moving through. Jacksonville International Airport, not long ago, 52 mile per hour wind gusts. Severe weather continues in Florida and all the way up and down the eastern seaboard. We'll be right back.
Tonight, I take the fam to two for four treat night at DQ. We get any two medium sundaes or dipped cones for just four bucks after 8 p.m. with amazing new flavors and a new name for mom. DQ, happy tastes good. I finally got my dad to simplify. He even got the new Jitterbug Smart 2 from Great Call, their simplest smartphone ever. How much for this? I couldn't part with that. And with five-star urgent response on the keypad, he can always get help. One touch immediately connects him to highly trained five-star agents who will get him help in any emergency, big or small. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Great, people love my stuff. No. Service starts as low as $17.48 a month at Best Buy or Rite Aid. I've been grilling for a long time now. I've got a certain way I like things. Mm. <laughs> right, more heat. Another thing I like is consumer cellular. I get unlimited talk and text for just $25 a month with no contract. Switching was easy. Now the bill is half what it used to be. And they have all kinds of phones. I got a new smartphone. She likes her flip phone. Okay, see you soon. We both kept our phone numbers too. They received the JD Power Award for highest customer service again. And Consumer Cellular has been an approved AARP provider since 2008, so we trust them. For my favorite grandson. Reliable nationwide coverage for way less money? That's the way we like it. Get wireless the way you like it. Plans start as low as $15 a month with reliable nationwide coverage and no contracts, all backed by a risk-free guarantee. Switch today. Call 1-800-325-8398. Go online or find us at Target. I have heart disease. Watch what I eat, take statins, but still struggle to lower my LDL bad cholesterol, which means a heart attack or stroke could strike without warning, pulling me away from everything that matters most. Because with high bad cholesterol, my risk of a heart attack or stroke is real. Repatha plus a statin seriously lowers bad cholesterol by 63% and significantly drops my risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Do not take Repatha if you are allergic to it. Repatha can cause serious allergic reactions. Signs include trouble breathing or swallowing or swelling of the face. Most common side effects include runny nose, sore throat, common cold symptoms, flu or flu-like symptoms, back pain, high blood sugar, and redness, pain, or bruising at the injection site. I won't let a heart attack or stroke come between me and everything I love. Neither should you. Tell your doctor to lower your LDL and reduce your risk with Repatha. Pay no more than $5 per month with a Repatha copay card. Clever what they're up to. They're using the force of the water to clear all this out. <laughs> Falling in love with my name again. <laughs> Just a moment of truth. All new Parker's Trail tonight at nine on Discovery and Discovery Go. Strong thunderstorms moving into Beaufort, South Carolina. Look Whoa. at those clouds. How about that? Wow. We've got tornado warnings just to the north of the uh, Beaufort, South Carolina area. Two tornado warned areas that we're looking at. And uh, Beaufort still in a severe thunderstorm warning. So, you know what? I, I think, I think uh, our earlier uh, suggestion that we were looking somewhat eastbound is, I think, right. Because the gust front, sort of that whale's mouth of a shelf cloud, is kind of over you right now. And the bad stuff is coming in from behind the camera. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And we're looking toward the brightness off probably in some version of east, whether it's southeast or northeast, I'm not sure. But... Storms are coming in from behind the camera here, moving in through South Carolina. Cotland County, under the warning here until the top of the hour, under a tornado warning, you need to be getting to the lowest level of your home, get to your safe yeah. place, and, uh, and, and don't delay. Gather up the family, get them there, and stay there until these thunderstorms have passed. They are racing through the area right now. 
the, you know, there's some dangerous parts of this line, even if it doesn't have a tornado with it. Uh, there's some bows in here that do suggest there are locally damaging winds that far exceed winds along the line more generally because you can see these individual little bows like right in there where it's kind of mm -hmm. cupped like that. Dr. Forbes talks about that all the time as this backwards C-shaped to the line. There is where local wind gusts could exceed 60 miles per hour. Definitely capable of doing damage. Down trees, one of the big things we have to be concerned about for the types of damage that can cause uh, inflict serious damage to homes and automobiles. Yeah, these uh, these trees have already come down with this line of thunderstorms back toward areas of the west. Yes. We've seen it uh, over Florida. We've seen it uh, over areas of Georgia. And now, a a as you mentioned, we've got these, these uh, spin-ups all along the line, but the line, almost the entire <laughs> line it, throughout this area is actually under some sort of warning, if not a tornado warning, a severe thunderstorm warning. Well, how about a severe thunderstorm watch? Mm -hmm. What else could we have for you? today. We have a severe thunderstorm watch now just issued by the Storm Prediction Center for essentially the rest of Florida, including Florida's east coast all the way down to almost Miami. Uh, it looks like, I haven't zoomed in on this, but it looks like it includes areas just to the north, perhaps West Palm and areas nearby as the line of storms continues to march across the Sunshine State. Now, in some cases, we're seeing this initial line moving offshore now, just to the north of the Jacksonville area, though to the south, we're still under warnings all the way across the peninsula from south of Jacksonville to the Tampa Bay area. Oh, okay. No worries. I was just going to say, can we go and check out some of the storms up north in Virginia? We'll there's get so, there. There's so many. Where do you That's go? The thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of this stuff across Florida. And we've been knowing, uh, assuming all along that there would be severe thunderstorm warnings uh, issued by the National Weather Service uh, with this line moving in off the Gulf of Mexico. And that, in fact, is the case. Expect 50 to 60 mile per hour winds with this line and damage possible. And that's why they've closed the Skyway Bridge here around the Tampa Bay area. Now let's yeah. go up into the Mid-Atlantic. And we do have warnings as thunder storms are moving up into the Richmond area again. This one line has, has already moved north of Richmond, but we're still seeing warm storms off toward the southeast. So check this out. I, I kind of want to make this a point because we've talked about the fast storm motions today and be prepared for rapid changes in your weather. Uh, and if a warning is issued, act immediately because this storm that they're issuing it for may be on you very quickly. And the yeah. reason why I want to mention that, did that warning just get canceled, by the way, the tornado warning? I think it did, but essentially the, the warning may be issued for a time period uh, that extends beyond the, the time when the storm has moved through. Yeah. So the storm may be gone, right. but the warning is actually still in place because, uh, well, that was just a standard uh, warning issued. The storm's moving so fast, they're out of there really quickly. But, you know, you need to take heed of the warnings. Yeah. We certainly have uh, that tornado warning to the south of Richmond, severe thunderstorm warnings off toward the north, and as these thunderstorms continue to push basically in a northerly direction, it's going to be moving toward Montrose by 146, Fredericksburg by 157, Mount Vernon by 231, and into the Washington, D.C. area by 244. Uh, no reason why this is not going to continue on its merry way and carry yeah. with that, that severe weather risk, because the atmosphere is ready for that, and it's not going to quit on us. So we're going to see likely the severe weather continue northward. And in West Virginia, we also are continuing with this potential tornado, a tornado, a radar indicated rotation that may be associated with the tornado. We don't have confirmation of that. Yeah, the counties here are Carroll, Grayson, Pulaski, and White County. Uh, it goes in, uh, for the next several minutes. And then off toward the south, we're continuing to see more warnings here as uh, storms bear down upon Columbia, South Carolina once again. Uh, a lot of storms off toward your west, moving toward the city. I think we had a shot at Columbia. Did we have that tower cam out of Columbia, that live shot? Uh, and there's Beaufort, actually. Uh, Beaufort, yeah. South Carolina. Excuse me, Beaufort, Beaufort South, Beaufort, South Carolina. Carolina. This, yeah, however, Columbia. is where I wanted to go. Columbia, South Carolina, where we know some storms are closing in on the Columbia, South Carolina region. And the severe thunderstorm warning for this collection of stuff is uh, really not including Columbia. It's farther to the west. But don't be surprised if some really windy and very rainy and a lot of cloud to ground lightning storm moves through. Edgefield, Newberry, Saluda counties under this warning here to the west of the Columbia area. Yeah. You can see this line of, of uh, and, and look how elongated too this, this warning area is. I mean, it covers a lot of ground here as these thunderstorms move closer and closer to Columbia. Yeah, you know what I also want to talk about, I think maybe coming up after the next break, is the flood threat 
for the Northeast. That's going to be going mm -hmm. tonight and tomorrow because a lot of rain and a lot of this mess, although maybe not as severe, will be moving into the Northeast tonight and tomorrow and bringing with it significant flooding potential. And of course, we have that wind potential as well. Lots of threats here as we continue our coverage of the severe weather. Bear presents Outdone Yourself. Staining be done and stay done through every season. Done. Done. Done, 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 done. 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 Bear semi transparent stain. Overall, number one rated. Stay done for years to come. Find it exclusively at the Home Depot. Done. Hey, Maya. Hey, you're still thinking about opening your own shop? Every day. I think there are some ways to help keep you on track. Closer to home. Edward Jones grew to a trillion dollars in assets under care by thinking about your goals as much as you do. Honey, time to go. Guess what? What? Coach said I get to play forward today. Wow. If I score a goal, I'm going to go like this. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna do something like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And oh yeah, it's your turn to bring the smile. How many teammates do you have again? Frito-Lay variety packs, packed with possibilities. It's so clever what they're up to. They're using the force of the water to clear all this out. <laughs> Falling in love with my name again. <laughs> Just a moment of truth. All new Parker's Trail, tonight at 9 on Discovery and Discovery Go. Sun care is self care. I used to not love wearing an SPF just because I felt like it was so oily and greasy and that it was going to clog my pores. But what I love about Olay Regenerous Whip with SPF 25 is that it's lightweight, it's barely there. And then I can put makeup on over it if I want or if I'm not working, you know, just roll. It's perfect for me. I'm Busy Phillips and I'm fearless to face anything. I love my grandma. As you grow older, your brain naturally begins to change, which may cause trouble with recall. Learning from him is great when I can keep up. Thankfully, Prevagen helps your brain and improves memory. Dad's got all the answers. Prevagen is now the number one selling brain health supplement in drugstores nationwide. She outsmarts me every single time. Checkmate. You want to play again? Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. Are you or a loved one between the ages of 50 to 80 years old? If you are younger than 80 years old, do you receive Social Security, Disability, or Medicare? If you answered yes, you may qualify for $30,000 in funeral insurance for only pennies a day. The average funeral costs around $11,000, and Social Security only pays $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to see if you qualify for $30,000 in funeral expense coverage from Senior Legacy Life. Your rate will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and there is no medical exam, even even if you have a pre-existing disease or illness. Don't be a financial burden to your family. Lock in your rate by completing an application over the phone right now. Will you qualify for funeral insurance up to $30,000 for only pennies a day? Find out by calling Senior Legacy Life at 1-800-600-8884. That's 1-800-600-8884. 1-800-600-8884. Stream your news just like everything else you love with Local Now. It's completely free and ready to go when and where you are. Local Now. Find it in your favorite app store. Tampa, Florida, one of those areas that is under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. The skies are dark. The uh, lens is clouded with rainfall. So we've got multiple threats here. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, lots of lightning moving through the area as well. Part of a line of thunderstorms that extends from Florida all the way up into the mid-Atlantic. Yeah, I mean, we've been watching this uh, all morning long, and the line of storms that has been steadily marching its way toward western Florida has now, in parts, made it on shore and carrying with it that damaging wind threat. Uh, trees can be knocked down pretty easily in the 50 to 60 mile per hour winds that we expect with this line of storms. There is a t uh, severe thunderstorm warning. You can read that. There's going to be a lot of lightning, of course, associated with it. And farther to the north, the line continues to march across eastern Florida as well. And this is all under a tornado watch uh, for 
for much of the Florida Peninsula. And we have this whole line of storms going all the way into, how about that? Western Virginia, that's a long line of storms, isn't it, Nick? It, it really is, and there's actually, in, in many cases, two lines of storms that are moving through. You're seeing that now, uh, one moving toward the east coast of Florida, uh, all, all the way up into uh, the Washington, D.C. area, yeah. and then another one coming into western Florida, and there's a little space in between it, but don't let your guard down, uh, because, you know, once that uh, first line is through, the next one, and probably the more powerful of the two, comes through. Yeah, and we have that severe weather threat today, but then over night tonight while we'll be dealing with some severe weather in the mid-Atlantic areas farther to the north in Pennsylvania New Jersey New York New England are gonna see the risk for significant flooding yeah. because the remnants of this stuff maybe not the severe part of it but certainly the overall circulation and the wetness associated with it is coming northbound and I think tonight we're gonna see significant rains move in and there is a decent chance that uh, we will see flooding in areas of course in the, where the severe weather is expected but also in New England and New York State and yeah. Pennsylvania and other areas of the Northeast, where even on Saturday during the latter half of the day, it may be raining somewhat pretty hard in eastern New England. Initially, this could be a flash flood threat when we get yeah. so much heavy rain falling in a short amount of time. And then after that, maybe even a, a prolonged river flood threat as uh, all that water drains into the streams, the creeks, the rivers, and those continue to rise and stay high all the way through the weekend. Yeah, and let's forecast this out because we're showing you on this model that uh, we have this is the European and it's going from today this evening showing you a lot of rain now I want to point out that the atmosphere is already very moist overall even mm -hmm. without the rain moving in it's a very humid atmosphere in many layers and as the rain system moves in it's going to access that already pre-existing high moisture content right and be really good at making a lot of rain. Yeah, the writing is really on the wall for uh, for some heavy rainfall. Mm -hmm. We could see it uh, in multiple inches here, as, as we uh, have already seen with thunderstorms that have been moving through Georgia, Florida, and into the Carolinas. Yeah, and we're continuing with the overall kind of unsettled pattern on Sunday, cooler than normal temperatures and showers around, no doubt about that. So the flood threat very much alive here as we head into the weekend. Now around Athens, Georgia, yeah. earlier in the day, we had lots of severe weather move through. We even had a tornado warning around the area. And uh, Kelly O'Hara was uh, in that area. Let's see what she endured and the folks around her. The rain is coming down here in Athens, Georgia. Let's take a look at all the students right outside the university. The umbrellas are out, the backpacks are out, and along with those boots as well, they're passing around the arch because here in Athens, the superstition is you cannot pass under it until you graduate. And a lot of kids, as you can see, holding that true right now as well. It has been pouring out for quite some time. As you can see, the sky is dark over there down Broad Street. We've been waiting for these storms to roll on in, and as you can see, they are here. There is some water that has been uh, pooling right here, flowing down the street here in the gutters uh, he through those heavy, heavy rains. The big question, though, now is how severe will that weather get after those tornado war warnings earlier this morning? Hopefully, though, this is the worst that it's going to get. In Athens, Kelly O'Hara for the Weather Channel. All right, Kelly, thank you so much for that report. And you just saw how, how dark everything was there earlier around the Athens area. Uh, very much being reflected all up and down this line of thunderstorms now as we have numerous warnings, including some tornado warnings. Okay, this one is actually interesting because this is one of those storms coming off the Atlantic that when you look at the reflectivity like this, it's got that little bit of a curious hook to it, right? Mm -hmm, Can you mm -hmm. see kind of that... Uh, kidney bean shaped to it almost like right in there. There may indeed be a circulation capable of producing a tornado inside of that. Again, this is a radar indicated rotation aloft. We don't know if that rotation has made it all the way to the ground, but a tornado warning has been issued for that thunderstorm. It is moving almost due north. It will be in those locations at those times. Yeah, most of these tornado warnings have been radar indicated. It makes them no less dangerous right. than if we actually right. saw a tornado with our eyes, but you don't want to try to get uh. out and visualize this. Look at this storm. Ooh, that's in. a lot wow. of lightning, a lot of cloud to ground lightning with this one. Moving through, just moved through, we think, Walterboro, but it continues on its merry way toward the north. Uh, Colton County, Colton County, excuse me, I'm not sure I know how to pronounce that, but uh, it is moving due north. This thunderstorm is going to likely contain, of course, with that lightning, 
a lot of straight line winds, perhaps up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. Before the top of the hour, moving into the Grover area, just after the hour, St. George and about 208 into the Rosenville area. All areas that you need to be getting into your safe place right now. Don't delay, as this is a strong thunderstorm that could put down a tornado uh, at any time if it hasn't done it already. Ah, we've got all kinds of severe weather still ongoing. There's a large part of this line that thankfully now is offshore, improving weather in Georgia. So if you live in southern Georgia, the really the severe weather threat is over, I think. Uh, as it is, once this line moves through Florida, I think conditions improve overall. Doesn't mean you can't get a shower or a thunderstorm behind it, but I think the significant severe weather threat is with this line, and once it's gone, your severe weather threat is essentially done. That line continues on down into the western portions of Florida, why we're still dealing with some heavy rainfall along the I-95 corridor out ahead of all of this. So in between this area, a little bit of a break with just some scattered showers, and then the big line moves in back behind that. And it's, this is the line that's being warned all up and down the line here over much of the eastern coast, coast of Florida. Yeah, very Western heavy rain, country. very heavy rainfall rates, Nick, is, are going to be accompanying these storms all day long. And there's the overall threat, including all hazards. Let's now leave you with uh, Washington, D.C., I believe. Look yeah, at that. Washington, skies are dark and thunderstorms moving toward you. Coming in. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. But Allstate actually helps you drive safely with DriveWise. It lets you know when you go too fast and brake too hard with feedback to help you drive safer, giving you the power to actually lower your cost. Unfortunately, you can't do anything about that. Now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? On Travel Channel. I'm Jack Osborne. And I'm Katrina Weidman. And on our new show, we're investigating the darkest, most sinister places. Is something new with us right now? That sounded like a growl. All new series, Portals to Hell, next Friday at 10 on Travel Channel. And stream a sneak peek on the Travel Channel app. In the connected world we live in, our personal information is everywhere. What happens if that information gets in the hands of criminals? Someone benefited from this. We were the ones on the hook for it. We can't pay a $50,000 bill. Cyber criminals around the world keep finding new ways to steal your personal information, and it could be right from your personal computer or smartphone. That's why LifeLock includes the power of Norton for even more protection for your identity and your devices, where so much of your personal information lives. Knowing that Norton and LifeLock are on my side makes me feel even more confident about the protection that I have for my identity. Monitoring your credit isn't enough to see if your identity is being used by thieves. LifeLock helps you see more threats like your information on the dark web. And now with the power of Norton, we help defend your personal information on your devices from ransomware, spyware, and more. And if you have an identity theft problem, a U.S.-based restoration agent will work to fix it. There's a whole team of people that are working on my behalf. Only LifeLock members are covered by LifeLock's powerful million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement of stolen funds and personal expenses up to the limits of your plan, and lawyers and experts if that's what it takes. I was covered through my membership, and I received a check for approximately $1,200. Join for as low as $9.99 per month and get 30 days free with promo code JOIN TODAY. All memberships include identity threat detection and alerts with agents working to fix issues, LifeLock's million dollar protection package, and award winning Norton security protection for up to five devices. I've got two industry leaders to help protect my identity and my devices. LifeLock with Norton. Call 1-800-433-1223 or visit joinlifelock.com. Use promo code JOIN today to get 30 days free and a free shredder with annual membership. Call right now. Ageless Male is now the number one brand in male enhancement because of our record-breaking free testosterone pill, our rapid nitric oxide booster, and our best-selling formula for boosting your total testosterone. Ageless Male, be the man you want to be. Columbia, South Carolina, with tornado warnings off toward your northwest, 
and off toward your southeast right now. You are right in the middle as thunderstorms are moving into your area. Columbia not under the tornado warning. The city of Columbia not under the tornado warnings right now, but they are all around you, and we continue to see strong thunderstorms raking you right now. This is Beaufort, South Carolina where dangerous storms are moving through the area as well. You are under a tornado watch here. As storms continue to push through the Beaufort area, we've had tornado warnings off toward your north and northeast. So a lot to deal with here as we head through the afternoon and well into the evening. We have so many areas that are under tornado watches that extend from Florida the Tampa Bay area all the way up into the mid-Atlantic, including Washington, D.C. Now, these tornado watches expire at different times, but they take you at least through the afternoon. And in Washington, D.C.'s case, they take you all the way into the midnight hour. Almost 900 miles of tornado watches here extend from Virginia and Maryland southward into Florida. And as you can see, we have numerous warnings. All of the uh, red indicated the tornado warnings, the yellow indicating where we have severe thunderstorm warnings and anticipated of damaging winds. Let's show you this tornado warning now here in uh, the counties of Calhoun, Clarendon, Orangeburg, and Sumter here. This, as these thunderstorms head toward the I-95 corridor in South Carolina, these thunderstorms have made their way through Augusta now and are moving off toward the east. There is some rotation. It's a pretty broad area of rotation being depicted on the uh, detailed radar here. But to the southeast of Orangeburg, that is where uh, we, we could see some strong thunderstorms moving through through the area here. Again, Brookdale under that warned area for the next several minutes. Then along Interstate 26 to the northwest of Columbia, that's the tornado warned area for portions of Fairfield and Newberry counties until 245. Newberry, prosperity.